Okay, we will continue. Um, I'm going to focus on superclass constructors. So if you look at here, uh, constructor name student, same as class name, that's the default constructor, rather constructor with a name and a student code. So we have two constructors to um, student super class. Let's say we have one uh, data field that belongs to undergraduate class. Deeper constructor. And then constructor with uh, major. Graduate class has, um, let's say, one data field called CSS string. So graduate has a default constructor. And the constructor with one parameter. So let's go back to coding. Um, if you look at line number 24, we are using a default constructor over students. Then we assign a value for name and code using methods. So if you go back here, after the data field, we are going to add default constructor, public, and same as the student name. You can use uh, insert code. Don't select anything, just say generate. So public student, next one, insert code, constructor, select both, generate. I hope you know um, how to do a constructor by coding. If you are not sure, please type it by yourself. So we have uh, two constructors. According to second constructor, we should, be able to, we should be able to assign student name and then student code. Again, instead of using default constructor here, we can say the first parameter is name, student string and integer value for student code. So we can say John, comma, second parameter, integer value. That's it, we can use the second constructor. Output will be same, John and one, two, three. Let's look at uh, undergraduate class. How do we invoke superclass constructors? With this in subclass. So here, constructor, don't select anything. Can we, can let me move these comments up. So that's the typical constructor. Uh, 
with this integer constructor, if you don't specify anything, there is a um, super constructor, super class constructor already in it. The keyword super is in it. Again, it has to be uh, the first line or first statement. That's uh, equivalent to uh, super. Again, if we don't explicitly write it down here, we assume that it's there by the compiler. Again, um, that's the idea of um, uh, invoking super class default constructor with this in subclass called undergraduates. So let me add one uh, data field. Major. Here, this time we focus on constructor with one parameter. Okay. So we have a major and then major equal to major. This is equivalent to um, having a super statement at the beginning. So that's how it works for uh, constructors with this in subclass. Let me just write it down. Um, default constructor inbox is super class constructor actually default constructor so this one constructor with one parameter inbox is super classes uh, default constructor so make sure the keyword super is there So let me look at here. Again, um, let's try to use a undergraduate constructor with the name and then code. Same as the student class. Uh, if you look at undergraduate class, we don't have this constructor. We have a constructor with one parameter only. So if you look at super class, there is a one constructor with the two parameter. This one, let's copy, paste it. Here we can use uh, constructor name on the graduate and then add that statement. We can replace with uh, super, then uh, name and code so that uh, we can invoke super classes constructor with two parameter. So we can use a keyword called super and two parameter. They will invoke super class constructor with two parameter.
I will explain uh, over the constructor later on. So that is possible now. Okay. So on the graduate, we are using um, superclasses uh, constructor with two parameter. So we don't have those two parameters with the subclass, but we actually have it with the superclass. That's uh, what we mean by um, we are invoking superclasses um, constructor. Again, uh, this super and super here. We don't have to um, explicitly uh, declare here because by convention, um, sub subclass constructor will call for default constructor of superclass. So it's going to be obvious, so we can just remove it. So look at here. Can I add a major? So can I combine string and major? Here, next line, this major dot equal to major. So we can actually combine. This can be done. So here, once we combine, we can add a major after, after student code. So things getting more simpler. Or we can say it's getting more flexible. It works. Um, Again, it doesn't show us uh, details. So let's say two string method here. It's going to print a major at least. So it says major is IT. Please read the code carefully, it looks complicated. Um, let's look at the credit. Again, um, if you can, please stop this screen for a while and then try to complete the coding by yourself for a while. Just add the um, CC string. You can add uh, multiple constructors. All of them. Uh, it's missing default constructor. Don't sell like anything. Again, here you go, uh, default constructor. I like to put um, CSS at the end because it belongs to subclass. I like to keep the parameter belongs to subclass at the end. Okay, uh, that's okay. Uh, don't forget uh, when you invoke the superclass constructor here, um, name and code, it has to be the first statement.
here so we can do two lines comments comments out wheel 789 and this is title we'll say weak AI Let me add uh, two strings so that I can print. Um, okay. So it print uh, IT major and then graduate for weak AI. All of them using two string methods belongs to its own class. Okay. I will um, cover how to use a super class uh, method later on. So students to constructor undergraduate we have one, two, three, four constructor. So let me put one comment here. Two constructors belongs to its own, and then uh, the other two constructors using the keyword will call super. We are invoking super classes constructor. Same story, one, two, three, four, two of them belongs to its own subclass. The other two constructors um, belongs to super class. So let me uh, look at here. So this is a um, uh, invoking super classes constructor by using um, super keywords again. So using super, that's the keywords. Again, we have um, two constructor, belongs to super class, two local, the other two uh, constructors belongs to super class. So we have a two constructor belongs to the student class. Uh, undergraduate, we have one, two, three, four constructors. As in missing uh, parentheses, okay. That's the major and major, no, no, sorry, uh, name and code. That's the last one. And uh, if you go to graduate class, we have uh, three constructors. Again, that's the last one. Please practice. That's all. Thank you.